Hey Cornerstone, this video is week three in our generosity series and this one is meant to follow the October 15th message which was called Grace, the Engine of Giving and focused on 2 Corinthians chapter 8. For those of you who turned in pledge cards, that is greatly appreciated. I hope you found this series beneficial. Uh, for those of you who intend to turn in cards and haven't yet had a chance to do so, you can drop those off in the office or mail them in. We would greatly appreciate having those by the end of October because it is a tool that our elders will use for budgeting purposes in 2018, and it's helpful for us to have all of those. In the Barna study that I've been referencing throughout this series that they did with Thrivent Financial, they found that just one in 10 American Christians reported that their ultimate financial goal was to serve God with their money. I think a statistic like that should give us reason to take an inventory of our own interior landscape and the layers, uh, our allegiances and passions and commitments and desires as, it's rela as related to our own resources and our time and our energy. It's a fascinating thing that only one in 10 who claim to follow Christ would say they are serving God with their money ultimately. Um, not surprising is that they found those who make giving a planned priority and by that, they mean it's regular. So every other week or every month through auto pay or bill pay or some kind of electronic means in our culture, that that, that group of people make a really big difference in the local church, not only because of the financial commitment, but that is also the group who serve the most. So no surprise, they discovered that serving those who give their time and energy and commitment to a local church and to missions and ministry are also those who have done the same with their resources. Um, if you are someone who is uh, a year-end giver and you would like to give substantially or significantly to Cornerstone, uh, we would be very happy to help you with that. You can talk to Brian Underwood in the office as the end of the year approaches. Um, there's also a foundation that we have that he can direct you to, and we would ask you to consider Cornerstone when you make those kinds of decisions. Um, the thing that continues to stick out to me from the study from Barna and Thrivent was the gap in generosity uh, in relation to generations and relationships. That we have a growing um, bias and stereotype towards one another that's really not that healthy. And I would say in a church like ours, uh, during transition and change, this is a really big deal or can become a big deal. So I would encourage you, along with myself, uh, to have a very gracious and generous posture towards one another um, for the upcoming year. I think this would serve us very well. Practically, I think this looks like giving one another the benefit of the doubt. So if a person or a group or an area of ministry or a search team says or does something that you don't understand or you disagree with, um, perhaps we should give each other the benefit of the doubt until we can clarify information, until we can understand uh why something was said or done. And in that way, we can be generous and gracious toward one another. And I think that would serve us well in the upcoming year. So I've really enjoyed um, working on this series and presenting stuff to you guys uh, over the last few weeks. I look forward to the next time that I get to uh, share from the front. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the beautiful October weather and we will talk to you soon. Grace and peace.